That was a big fucking hoop. <clears throat> All right. Good morning. I'm Barrett, and welcome to another episode of What a Twist. This is the animated episode. Every entry today is a cartoon of some sort. The first one that we're going to look at today is a Netflix show called Altered Carbon Resleeved, and we're going to watch the trailer for it right now. In the 21st century, human consciousness was digitalized and stored in devices that At least they to give you sex. some context to what's going on this in this age where series because in the save. two first seasons Death that are live action, no longer the end. you know, you kind of got to sit there and, and wait for them stack. to tell you about what those stacks are and what, you're, what they actually mean to people. My name's Gina from UNC Tactical. And You're wow, English dub Consider me sucks babysitter. donkey balls. I watched this She's in the 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 original Japanese, guy. and it was the one that had my kid brother is way different. Boss, she has value. I'd say it's always watched it in the original language with subtitles. Be it's always better. I'll be watching Takeshi Kovacs. Who do you think those enhanced sleeves were working for? Shinji. There's a coup. That's what I heard. How hard should it be to kill one bratty snot nosed girl. bratty little girl? Sea Tech and Tech Ninjas. This is the worst job ever. <laughs> Fuck the animation for this show is fucking wild. Damage to hotel property has been confirmed. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right, and there you go. That was the trailer for Altered Carbon Resleeved. It's a Netflix original and was, re was released last year in 2020. Its rating is TV mature for, as you can see, there is a lot of violence in it. And its running time is just over an hour. I think it's about 70, 70 minutes or something like that. It ties in perfectly with the live action series of the two seasons that have come out prior to this. I am a huge fan of the Altered Carbon franchise and the world that they've got it set in. Takashi Kovach is such a fucking kick-ass character. Uh, it doesn't matter that this was a cartoon. It was, it was fucking great. If you've seen the live action and you haven't watched the cartoon yet, I highly recommend it. It is very entertaining. Definitely, definitely not for kids. Now, the second show we're going to look at today is another Netflix original called Love, Death and Robots. And we're going to watch the trailer for that right now. I love how wildly different the animation is for each separate story. <laughs> All right, and there you are. That's Love, Death, and Robots Season 1 trailer. It was released in 2019, and it has a rating of TV Mature. There's a second season that has just been released. I, I have to admit, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the first season is an anthology, so all the episodes are separate entities from one another. And as you can see, the, the animation is... It goes from one end to the other for different different styles. I was blown away by how fucking awesome this show was and was so excited to find out that the second season was dropping and that there's going to be a third season yet coming out next year sometime. So 
Yay. Really looking forward to it. It's not for kids. There's a lot of graphic, mature content in it, so you might want to keep an eye on that. Our next show, it was on, uh, I, got, I found it on Amazon Prime Shutter, and it's another cartoon called Soul Station, and we're going to watch the trailer for it. Train to Busan was such a good fucking zombie movie. Then again, had to watch it in original Korean. It was awesome. If I had tried watching it in English dubbed, I'm sure it would have been fucking shitty. Those are some fucking scary zombies. Run, girl, run! That was the trailer for Soul Station. It came out in 2016 was released by Film Rise Studios. It has a rating of 13 plus. However, I don't know. I think it should be a little higher than that. It was pretty graphically violent. Uh, its running time is just over an hour and a half long. And as you can see, it's a prequel to the live action uh, zombie movie called Train to Busan. Uh, which was awesome in its own rights. Uh, the cartoon had... A really great story, uh, really, really fucking cool animation, and had one of the... Fuck, man, the ending for this movie was fucking sad. It was fucking crazy, man. But I highly recommend it. It, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It's really creepy and scary, and there's some real, some real characters that you have to... You learn to hate watching that one. Our last entry for today is a movie called Sausage Party and it ended on a little bit of a lighter note and here we go we're going to watch the trailer for it Welcome, I heard a story about how Seth Rogen and Sasha Baron Cohen are like really good close friends and they read each other's scripts before uh, they, they try to see if they can get a movie, the movie made. Seth Rogen brought that over to, to Borat and he read the script and he, he said, there's no fucking way they're ever going to let you make this movie. And Seth Rogen was confident enough that he still went and asked them anyway and fuck me man, this show. So happy until this part. I'm the first to enter eternity. Oh, potato! Way to go, buddy! The I love how he's got an Irish accent. Are called... Oh, Jesus, me eyes! Oh, give me skin! Just feel me what skin! The... <laughs> 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 They're eating children! It's a children! So, you have learned the terrible truth. I gotta tell everyone. Everything we believe is a lie. What if the gods are doing this to us? Because we touched Just the kids. It wasn't even that. I mean, it was fine. 
and it's not like anyone writes home and says, oh God, I had the best tip. <laughs> and here's the saving Private Ryan scene. Oh, here's my arm. Oh, wait. Oh. Hey, I am sorry. I accidentally dropped a few things back there. Hey, I'm gonna fix you. I'm gonna fix this. Fucking hell. <coughs> Look at all the actors and actresses that are in this fucking crazy. All right, and there you go. That was the trailer for Sausage Party. It was released in 2016 by Columbia Pictures and has a rating of R for a fucking good reason. Uh, its running time is just about an hour and a half, and it is easily one of the most shocking, but one of the most hilarious cartoons I think I've ever seen. I was amazed that they actually were allowed to make the movie and then release it. If you've never seen it, yeah, it's not a kid's show at all, like not even close. Uh, don't let your kids watch this show. But... You know, if, uh, if you like enjoying a good laugh, then you should really consider watching this. That's it for this episode of What a Twist. i really like to thank you for, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, please tell your friends about us. Have a good one.